Hey, what's going on guys? You and me for the win here, and today we are going to be doing, I believe, episode 10 of our Minecraft modding 1.12.2 tutorial. Uh, today we are going to finally be doing crafting recipes, and I just recorded this video, but my mic wasn't working, because I forgot to plug it in properly. And I'm really annoyed right now, just for what I'd tell you. But yeah, we're finally going to be doing crafting recipes. Let's get into it. So, what you want to do is in your assets folder, go down to tutorial mod, new package, and we're going to do dot recipes, and in here, you're going to do new, untitled text file, and we're going to put, uh, I'm going to paste it in now, and click save, source, main, resources, assets, tutorial mod uh, recipes and we're going to name it dark underscore apple dot json so yes I am going very fast I'm sorry about that but basically what you want to do is you want to copy the json that's in the description paste it into here and name it whatever your uh, result is going to be of the recipe and I'll explain this so I forgot to do that apparently. Save. Hello, you can fix yourself. Why's it not working? Um excuse me, sir. Uh Okay, well it is working, so whatever. <laughs> so basically, here is the type of uh, recipe you want. So we're going to be doing a shape recipe. I'll show you how to do shapeless recipes later. Uh, they're a lot easier. Uh, just by the, by the way, yeah, they're a lot easier. And here is, uh, I'll do the key first. So here's the pattern, actually. Um, basically, this is the top row of the crafting table. This is the middle row. This is the bottom row, and basically these letters are represented down here. So we know that I is our obsidian ingot, so yeah, and A is our apple. So it's basically obsidian ingots surrounding an apple, is what it's saying, and that will give us a result of our dark apple. And with a count of one, you can put a count of ten. 100, well you can't put 100 because that will just glitch out, I'm just going to leave it as 1. And there is another thing you can do, oh I see the problem right there, and that is data. So say that your item has data, such as, say you were doing, okay, say you were doing um, here, say you were doing die, alright so you wanted it to be a die, you can then put a comma in, add some more things like this, put data, and then you put the data of the die. So, for example, say you wanted it to be, uh, I'm trying to think, blue, I believe, it's 11, I might be wrong, but off the top of my head, I believe blue might be 11, so you could, for example, put data 11, and that'll, I think, be blue die. I might be wrong with that, don't don't be 100% sure that it is, but you, you can look that up if you just search um, Minecraft IDs, uh, Graham, and it's, it's going up on my other screen right now, but I just bring this over and I search in here, die. And these are the datas you need. Um, also, there's not that many on here. Because there's stuff like uh, bone meal. Which you have to remember uses data. Data of 15. Um, lapis. You have to remember uses a data of 4. There's also things like uh, coal. Which use data. Which a lot of people forget. Because there's charcoal and coal. 
Coal is zero, uh, charcoal is one. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that uses data. Do bowls use data? Um, wait, if I do soup. No, okay, they don't use data. But there's other things that use data. You can look it up. Um, like stone, for example. Uh, as you can see, like sandstone, one, two, uh, etc. These all use data. All of these. So you have to know what uses data. Basically, you just look it up. That's what everyone does. Because it's simple. And, yeah. So I'm going to undo that data. Because we don't want no data. And error should go. Right. So that's that done. Now what we want to do is we want to create our um, our shapeless recipes. We want to try to do that, don't we? So, it's very simple. What you want to do is in your recipes package, you want to do new. Pa uh, no, not package. Oops. You want to do new class and call it crafting recipes. Not E's, Pez. And in here, you want to do public static void init. And in here, you want to do uh, comment and you want to make it. Uh, so, say we want to give our. We want to have a crafting recipe for our silver blocks to silver ingots. Right, so we would name this silver block, and then we're going to do item stack silver underscore ingot is equal to new item stack. Once again, I can't type, I never can. In it, item in it dot silver ingot comma nine basically what this is doing is we're creating a new item stack of our silver ingot so we're telling it that our silver ingot is an item stack and that whenever we call this variable it calls this item stack with a count of nine so you can set this nine to whatever you want so like 56 or whatever however many you want it to return but whenever you call this variable it will uh, yeah do that uh, we can also do item stack and then we can do yeah item stack silver underscore block I haven't tried this so we might not this might not work equals new item stack and this will basically just look up make our code look neater block in it dot dot silver block and we wouldn't need to put a count because obviously it's one and then we want to do game registry now you might recognize all of this well you'll recognize this part if you've seen the smelting tutorial uh, but we want to do shapeless recipe and we want to do new resource location inside here we want to put uh, silver underscore ingot so this is basically just the name of our recipe and import resource location. I will make sure you've imported item stack. Uh, for the group, we're going to put null. But if you wanted to have a group, they're optional. They're not important for anything. But if you want to add a group, it's a another resource location. So you just copy this basically and you just paste it there. For output, we want to put... Uh, silver ingot and for the things we put in we want to do in 
ingredient dot from stacks and I believe this might not work but if we grab our silver block variable paste it there I believe yes okay that works um yeah that's it that's basically it so basically it's getting an item stack of silver blocks so it's checking if you put in a silver block it will say uh, let's output our variable of silver ingot where is the silver ingot variable we find it over here ah it's an item stack and it has a count of nine perfect we can output it and then it outputs a uh, silver ingot nine of them outputs nine silver ingots it's pretty simple right if you want to do another one literally just copy paste change names obviously unindent no one wants it indented you know and just fix it up I'm only gonna have one and yeah that's that now we need to initialize this so let's close item in it and in our init register, uh, let's do it in main first, it just makes more sense. In our init registries here, we want to do crafting recipes. Oh, dot init. And save that. Get rid of these imports right there. Yeah. And then go to our registry handler. And by the way, in my registry handler, I added smelting recipes in it into here too. Um, the reason being is just to uh, make sure that it does like initialize correctly into the game. If there's a bug, for example, if something um, overtakes our smelting recipes in here, they won't initialize. So what you need to do to double check that that doesn't happen is you want to add it into your registry handler because it goes through your registry handler during the initialization of the game and just put it in uh, init registries. We're also going to put crafting recipes dot init in here too and let's test that it works. I Alright, so guys, we just loaded into the game, and I'm going to set the time, because I don't like it being... Alright, let's get rid of these candy canes, and I'm actually going to put the candy cane in here, because I haven't done that yet, and let's just... I'm going to add these two things in here, and add this too, so let's add that. Add that, add that, let's clear our inventory. Right, so what do we want? We want uh, silver ingots. We want, uh, wait, no, we don't want silver ingots. We want silver blocks. We want obsidian ingots. And we want apples. So, let's grab ourselves a crafting slave. Cra eh. Let's give crafting table put that there let's put in our apple let's surround it with obsidian ingots and we get dark apples yay let's put in our silver blocks we can put it anywhere in and it shows a uh, 9 giving off so obviously that's going to give us a lot like that that's a lot <laughs> and let's just clear that simple done that's it um yeah that's everything guys there's nothing much more to it <laughs> i mean uh yeah so anyway guys if you did enjoy this video please be do be sure to smash your face into that like button and subscribe uh, if you really enjoyed uh please do be sure to share it and uh, I'll see you guys in the uh, next video goodbye